Hey, welcome back. It's back to the basics. I'm Sean Barr and we are talking dynamic multipoint VPN. That's DMVPN. Let's connect some WANs over the internet. Let's go! Hey, welcome back, back to the basics. We are talking DMVPN, that's dynamic, multi-point virtual private networking. This is to solve WAN connectivity over the internet. That's the primary use case. So if you have a bunch of remote sites, all with internet connections, traditionally you could build a bunch of static IPsec tunnels. And if you add a network at a remote site, things like that, you're gonna have to edit an ACL manually. Dynamic multipoint VPN solves a lot of that. And also it allows you to go spoke to spoke or remote site to remote site. And imagine building 10, if you had 10 sites, you'd have to build 10 VPNs from every single site and manage it. And then if you added a network, managing all that is a, would be really a headache. So DMVPN solves that. So how does it do it? Well, the first thing is it uses GRE. And GRE provides a tunnel, basically a virtual ethernet connection from a spoke to a head end or a spoke to a spoke. So that gives you the ability to run a routing protocol over it. You could do multicast. There's a lot of functionality and flexibility with it. Now you talk about the security layer. Well, we take IPsec and we encrypt that GRE tunnel. And so that gives us our security over the internet. So it's all encrypted. The next thing is how does it, well, what's under the hood? How does it work? Well, NHRP uh, uses is its next hop resolution protocol. And what it does is it will associate the private IP address to a public IP address. So it can dynamically build a tunnel to the public IP address of the other end. The other thing is there's a couple keying mechanisms. There's a pre-shared key and there's certificate based authentication. Pre-shared key is probably less secure because if you have a, a pre-shared key, it's the same pre-shared key for all of your sites to communicate. So that's not a recommended way to, to go about it. But if you're deploying it in a test or in a, in a lab environment, a pre-shared key is a very simple way to go. We would recommend a certificate based approach. So each device gets a certificate, the head end device authenticates that certificate. Um, and then that's how the VPN is established. So to sum it all up, DMVPN, great solution for WAN over the internet. It dynamically builds VPNs from the spoke to the hub site. It can dynamically build a VPN from spoke to spoke. Um, and then you can run routing protocols over it. Multicast, it uses a couple things like GRE, IPsec, and NHRP combined together to give you all this feature functionality much better than managing static IPsec tunnels. So if there's anything I said in this video that you're like, whoa, 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 what was that? Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you let us know. We wanna know about it. We wanna build a video for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.